Thanks so again for joining me for another random palm reading. This person asked me if they would uh, have an arranged marriage or not. So that's their one and only question. Uh, they sent me uh, several pictures. Many of them were very blurry. I can't provide clarity without clarity. But also what makes this person's palm difficult to read is, in some areas, the lack of information that's showing. Um, and, th and this is sometimes the case, um, and we have to go more on sort of chirognomy than uh, chiromancy when this occurs. So as always, we look at the the shape of the palm in contrast with the length of the fingers to determine a basic character template of the person. And this, in this person's case, they are a fire hand. That's a long palm and short fingers. Um, but they're fairly close to being a water hand. So there's there's that sort of secondary waterish element to them. That, that makes them quite a complex person. Probably, um, probably a bit of an oddball. Um, and also you've got this, whoops, you've got uh, a very, um, what am I doing here? We've got a very sort of low heel of Luna. Uh, Luna kind of droops down here in the corner. So we've got a, a rich kind of bank of imagination, someone who um, has the potential to uh, fantasize, someone who's very sensitive. I mean, overall, they are a fire hand, uh, but with some waterish elements. So in Palm Street, you generally have two different types of people in terms of the information on a person's palm. And this is a person's palm who we would uh, um, categorize as an empty palm. It's someone um, that has a very sort of straightforward and less subtle approach to life. They tune into one channel at a time. Um, they drive in one lane at one speed, if you like. Um, and the energy is sort of focused uh, in one area at one time. It's, it's sort of ironic for this person because they they might be labelled as kind of, you know, uh, blunt or, or brute, uh, you know, approach things in a kind of brute force manner and be labelled as this kind of, um, you know, similarly as a you know, insensitive or, 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 but actually they're not at all they're quite the opposite they're actually very in tune with um, their emotions and probably the emotions of the people around them as well whilst whilst they um, might be uh, sensitive um, they might, might they might be in touch with their own feelings but not necessarily with the feelings of others so that that's I think I'm making a bit of a correction to what I just said I think that's probably why they they where they might find difficulties um in in society now the thing i notice uh straight away when i look at this palm is um the fingers are quite close together so this this might represent someone who um is feeling a little bit sort of trapped there's a lack of freedom and also the jupiter finger here i mean it's very short and it's very low set as well. This is someone who was perhaps bullied um, when they were young. Perhaps they're still being bullied right now. This is their right hand after all. This is their current circumstances. And I'm just trying to compare with the left hand. Although these aren't great examples in terms of angles. They don't provide the, the greatest of um, accuracy. The clearest picture here. Because if if the image is taken flat on from directly above... We can see and can compare the difference between right and left palms. It looks to me as though they have less confidence now than they used to. But I can't be certain about that. They, um, they're, they're quite active mentally speaking. There's a lot going on in their minds. I think they, there's a potential for uh, ADHD there and possibly... Um, dyslexia the little finger it really is on its in its own uh on its it's set aside from the rest on its own this person i i believe is quite sort of isolated perhaps they have a very f a small um friend zone if you like um and i think that 
they could really do with um, a confidence boost. Um, some uh, some self healing, really. Um, and um, as cliche as it might sound, it might be best for them to learn to love themselves before they begin to love another. And I'm only saying this with regards to the main question here, the, the bigger picture. Uh, will they um, have an arranged marriage or not? Um, okay. So I've just been uh, looking here for the signs. And it does seem... Uh, so this is the place of family. This is the family ring and within the family here you can see a great sort of st struggle almost there and if we look here so from the heart line this is mars um Mars negative, I always get the two confused. It's the place of anger and motivation and uh, fire, I suppose. And if we look, you've got this line that comes down from the heart line. It's sort of a disappointment. It comes from the heart line. We know this because it's stronger from the heart. So this is uh, a, a disappointment. It's a huge upset that occurred around this age in this person's life. This island here um, is directly uh, linked to and affected. And then there's this, as I say, um, this anger that comes th through and affected by it and with it. It's all connected. And then from that age, I'm going to say about 18-ish, from the ages of about 15 to 19, maybe 16 to 19 potentially, 15 to 19, that's when this entire island occurs and after that we see more of a uh, an inclination to become independent to veer away from um the the wishes and demands and desires of the parents and i believe that that's what this is symbolic this is um perhaps um there was some disagreement at home uh, and why that's relevant is well, if you're if if there's potential for an arranged marriage here, well, um, there's nothing wrong with an arranged marriage, of course, so long as it benefits everyone involved, that's fine. Um, but what we see here is from the lifeline, we've got some interference from the life affecting um, the career line. Or the fate line in this case, and it over, it crosses over and touches the head. So not only does it affect the person's destiny, but also their uh, decisions, their, their their mental well-being. It impacts their the way they think and their decisions. And then we've got another one up here as well. But this interestingly, this 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 one was sort of negated. So we've got a decision here. It's very faint. You can you can barely see it. We've got a decision here that's made. Um, it's almost as though something occurs without outside of this person's control in their life, as this is a lifeline, reaching up towards affecting the fate line. And this person's decision, because it comes from their headline, this is their own decision, stops that. And interestingly, it reaches up towards um, Mars positive. Well, in between Mars positive and um, Mercury. So Mars positive is that's a headline that reaches towards this area. This is a person thinking about money. Uh, so it's almost as though you could say if it is, I think it is reaching more towards that area. This person's well saying, well, okay, maybe this isn't a good idea because of um, 
uh, an issue around money. Uh, so, so it seems there are two arranged marriages and the second, the first one at the age of around the late twenties is perhaps not a good idea. The second one, uh, the just past 35, 38 perhaps is also perhaps not a good idea. And this is their own, the, the, this is the person here taking uh, matters into their own hands, deciding what they will do. They take matters into their own hands and decide in future, no, I, I will make decisions from now on. Now, interestingly, we've got what looks like a big triangle on the uh, heart line underneath Apollo. It sort of looks like a, a boat almost because you've got this mast that comes from it. I do think this person will be happy uh, later on in life and with support from um, a partner of their choice. This person is very in touch with their feelings um, as denoted by this secondary, uh, well, it's a girdle of Venus. They're very in touch with the emotions, very intuitive. And um, they, they have some skills there, perhaps unharnished, uh, are harnessed, unharnessed, uh, but um, at the same time, this could be potential for um, coronary disease. So it's it's important that this person uh, really cuts out dairy, really watch your cholesterol level, but most of all, look after your own feelings. You really must look after yourself. This is a person who is, look, the heart line here branches right out onto uh, Jupiter. There is uh, sympathy uh, line here. Uh, and again, this is um, intuition. This person would make a good... Um, a good a good friend a good listener and once they've managed to as i say love themselves a bit more and stop beating themselves up because other people have been doing that enough once they have a bit more self esteem a bit more self belief this person would in the end probably make quite a good counselor they're very adaptable and they can work well in short stints there might well be some joint issues with this person. So that's that's about the size of it for this one. Will they have an arranged marriage? I believe they will have two. I don't think it will work out exactly um, how, how it was intended. But I do think this person will achieve happiness in the end as a result of their own choices and decisions. So I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. If you've watched this and you would like your palm read, please send me clear pictures of your palms and um, just allow me enough time because I, I can't read everyone's. And um, yeah, just don't tell me everything as well. Thank you. Thanks for watching.